Welcome back. So next, the article says she star wants to do the right thing, but she is scared to put her life in danger. So there we saw the noun danger, D A N G E R, danger, which is today's last word power word. So danger is the possibility of harm or death to someone. We don't mean it's a hundred percent going to be bad, but we just mean there's a very good chance it will be bad. It's related to the adjective dangerous. Danger is the noun form. Here's an example: If your life is in danger, call one one nine right away. If your life is in danger, call one one nine right away. Danger. <sighs> 名词，危险的意思。So in danger. 就是处于危险状态。那刚刚的例句就是，如果你有生命危险，就要立刻拨打一一九。啊，它的形容词也很常用哦 ，dangerous。D A N G E R O U S， 就是危险的意思。It's dangerous to walk alone in the woods。在森林里一个人走是很危险的。Why？ Because you could put yourself in danger。So how can we explain this phrase？ Put someone in danger。Well, if you put someone in danger, you do something that causes someone, and it could be you or another person, to be in danger. So Star is scared that if she tells the police or someone else, she will be in danger of being shot too, or that it would put her in danger. Yeah, so Star is wanting to do something to make this happen to someone. 但是他却又很怕把自己置于险境 ，put herself in danger. He put someone in danger, 就是让谁置身险境。比方说 ，He put himself in danger to save his wife. 他为了救他的妻子，让自己置身险境。Wow, this book really sounds exciting too. It does indeed. The article now gets to its conclusion. It says, if it's a rainy day, why not get cozy? And spend the afternoon reading. And we use this phrase "why not" followed by a verb to make a suggestion for someone like, "Hey, why not come over to my place?"、Hmm, yeah, and you can answer, "Sure, why not?" 有何不可呢 ？Why not 就是何不 ，so you can say, "Why not have a cup of coffee?" 就是何不来杯咖啡呢 ？Why not come over to my place? 何不来我家看看呢？这个时候啊，你就可以回答 ，"Hmm, yeah, why not?" 好啊，有何不可呢？所以回到课文啦。如果今天天气很糟糕，我们何不就窝窝在家里，花个下午好好的念本书呢 ？Yep. So we also saw the word cozy, C O Z Y, cozy, which, by the way, in the UK is sometimes spelled C O S Y in British English. Now, cozy, whichever way. Means a feeling of comfort and warmth and relaxation, like a sleeping cat. So if you feel cozy, you're really comfortable and warm, and you could probably fall asleep. Yeah. So feeling cozy 就是觉得暖乎乎的，很舒服，很放松。那 get cozy 就是去舒舒服服的窝起来吧。Read a book in your cozy bed 就是窝在暖乎乎的床里面看本书。那在英式英文里面也可以拼作 cozy, c o s y。And our article finishes by saying, "You're sure to like one of these interesting books." Yeah, you're sure to. 你绝对会喜欢起码一本这些精彩有趣的书哦。And that brings us to the end of the article. So now it's time for today's wrap up. 